Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. Let's just get straight into the video. Let's talk about Chanel 21B and then I have a few little Chanel bits and pieces to tell you about. So I'm gonna try something different with the format of this video so that I can make a short and sweet video for you guys who prefer my shorter formats. So what I'll do is I'll put up the pictures on the screen of the collection so you can see the bags, but I won't go through each individual bag. Um, and I'll just give you a general overview and you'll let me know in the comments if you prefer this format. So let's get started. Um, listen, Chanel 21B is act one of Chanel Autumn Winter 2021. Fine. For me, this is okay. I think this is a step in the right direction, if I'm honest with you, because I have not been a fan of what version he's been doing. I really, really, really didn't like Mertier Da and I was just like tired after that. I was exhausted, I have to be honest. But this is a little bit better. A few months ago, I did a preview for this collection. The pictures were not good because they were just like leaked pictures. The quality of the photos now is a little bit better. Um, the bags are okay. I mean, the bags are okay. It's okay. For an autumn winter collection, the colors are to be expected. Um, it, I always look to see where the trendy is. The trendy is available in this collection. It comes in this kind of, they call it like dark gray, and it also comes in this green, which I think in the first preview video I did, I called it olive green because it looked olive in the photos. I did see some other photos, which I can't find now on my phone, okay, which is so annoying. And it looked more like a sort of military green. That's the kind of color that it looked like. You see those, um, that kind of green, that kind of fresh plant green on those pictures that my husband bought. That's like a more kind of fresh plant green. This green doesn't look fresh. It doesn't look like fresh grass. It looks more like a sort of darker military green. It's okay, it's, you know, it's whatever. I'm glad that the trendies there and hasn't been discontinued. So frankly, I was just happy that it was there. The bags are okay. I think that when it comes to Chanel's like autumn winter, sometimes they can get into this, they can get into this rut where everything is the same and the colors are the same. I can't see where the unicorn is in this collection. And normally the unicorns are available. Like you can see them when you see the previews and when you see high quality photos, you can say, okay, that's a unicorn, that's a unicorn. I haven't really seen any unicorns. The unicorns are in 21K, which is the second part of this collection. That is coming out soon. 21K to me is way more exciting <laughs> and vibrant than this collection. I would put, if you guys are spending, looking to spend some money on Chanel, I wouldn't buy anything from this collection. I would wait for 21K to drop. I personally just don't think that this collection, don't think that this collection is that interesting. I don't know how you guys would feel about this collection specifically. Um, I think that what's happening with Chanel, and this is something I realized when I was looking for the photos, is that Chanel now, they've kind of just, I think, signaled to customers that they don't care about communicating properly because the only way to get photos is from reseller accounts, okay? You go in Instagram, you write 21B or Chanel 21B, and then you get all these reseller accounts, which is super frustrating. There was one girl's account, I won't say her name, I don't have anything against her, but I was like looking for photos and it's not, the, the girl whose pictures I've shared and I'll, I'll tag her in the description below, God bless her because these pictures have the euro prices on them. It's not her. I'm very happy that this lady shared her photos. That's why I put them in my video. It's another um, person who's a reseller. She was like, hey guys, here are the Chanel 21B bags. If anyone wants to reserve anything, let me know. And it's like, that is the world we live in. To, to buy a Chanel bag, you have to contact someone else and contact someone there instead of actually contacting the store directly because the situation with essays at the moment is a nightmare for, from what a lot of people are saying. And some of you, I actually got a comment a few days ago from one of you on an older Chanel video, like, hey, like, so what, how are you going to be able to buy one? The only way I'll be able to get one is through a department store. I'm not even worried about Chanel right now. Like my energy is really towards Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, and Versace. I want to spend more time like investing in the Italian houses now because they don't make their products hard for me to score. But Chanel is just too much work and I'm too busy in my life to even care to even try and figure out how to purchase an item. So I just preview them because obviously you guys like Chanel. I like Chanel too. I'm here for her shenanigans, sweetheart. I'm here for them. But I don't like their commercial strategy. They don't even care that resellers are saying things like, contact me if you want to reserve a bag. I mean, we should be reserving directly or purchasing directly. It's so frustrating. At this point, Chanel bags are trophies. 
they're not handbags okay for those of you who are still um happy with the brand and you still want to buy brand new you need to accept that these bags are trophies okay they are the new ferraris they're the new lamborghinis um one massive critique that chanel has received with this new price increase is issues about quality i feel like sometimes when you when we talk about price increases <laughs> Things can get a bit redundant because it's always the same thing with these brands. It's like, oh, the quality is this and that and blah, blah, blah. But people still come the next season to buy. And you're not showing Chanel that you care because you're still buying. I personally, when it comes to the whole issue about quality, that's not so much of an issue for me because let's be honest, if you really want to buy a quality bag, you can just go on Etsy and get someone to make you a handmade piece from leather or you can find a leather artisan online who makes handmade items that cost like a hundred dollars and it's like a handmade item and it's taken that craftsman like a day to make let's not talk about the quality thing this is about branding and this is about the brand and there's that's fine there's nothing wrong with that i love brands so for me i don't really understand the constant like um, issues about quality because Chanel have signaled so many times they don't care and I think if you're a customer you need to make your decision now I feel like this is the decision where you're going to cross the Rubicon I feel like 21B is the come to Jesus moment for Chanel clients who buy new you either continue to buy new or you stop now because I've noticed that their price increases um, are synced with every financial quarter and that's something that I found really interesting so as each quarter starts there's an increase we're seeing the increase now that's fair, fair enough i do think that we'll see another one um maybe by january i do think we'll see another one they're constantly going to be increasing items to make the products as exclusive as possible they don't really care about quality frankly i don't really think the people who buy chanel bags regularly care about quality i think if you buy chanel you care about aesthetics and visuals I think Chanel make trendy, stylish handbags. Okay, I like Hermes. I'm wearing Hermes orange, okay? But Hermes' bags are not trendy and hot and cute. I'm sorry, they're not. And I love the, the Birkin and the Kelly. Those two look good. No one can tell me that the Gypsy Air looks better than some of these bags in 21B because the Gypsy Air does not, cannot outwalk any of these bags in this collection, okay? Chanel's bags are stylish, cute, and hot, and that is what allows them to com to command such a massive premium for their bags because they do make these like super, super stylish handbags. And I think that if you are going to be purchasing new, I can't, I just can't buy things used. I just can't. I have to buy new. So if you're going to be um, purchasing new, I think a way to do it is to factor in future increases. So I think to do something like this, let's say you're trying to buy a classic flat, but you can't buy it now, but maybe you can buy it in December. I think just put 10, 15% of the price of the bag at the moment aside for a future increase. You know, there's a lot to be said for whether people sh people are just going to buy vintage a lot. I mean, obviously the resale market for Chanel is very hot, but Chanel is making billions and billions and billions a year because they make bags that people want to buy. It's that simple. They make stylish bags that people want to buy. Their bags always look fresh, hot, and crisp. I'm not crazy about this collection, but there are a few pieces in this collection that are going to do very well and that are going to go. Apparently there's a mini in this collection as well. I mean, they, they just make great looking bags and that's really the bottom line. When I say trophies, I mean it in the truest sense of the word in that these bags are trophies for people who are one-upping themselves with their Chanel collection or one-upping each other. And I think Chanel have realized that their bags are trophies and I think that they like it and that's how they can continuously increase prices. Branding, stylish diverse options i mean chanel make all kinds of bags in different um fabrics and options you know we talk about um a mezzle day but chanel make bags made from tweed they make all kinds of options out there for people they don't just you know do leather they do everything they do different variations i just think chanel at this point really 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 want to target women who are affluent and women who enjoy spending money all the time not everyone who's super rich is a huge, like, big spender. There are lots of people who are frugal and who maybe would feel uncomfortable with purchasing, you know, a 5,000 euro handbag or a 5,000 pound handbag. But I think there are lots of people out there who are very affluent, 
who are, do enjoy spending this money on these bags as a sport. It's almost a sport for some people. I think you see this a lot on Instagram. Um, and by the way, I love it. I don't have an issue with it because I think people are adults, people know what they're doing, so people can probably afford to do this. I don't feel like you need, you know, 10 classic flaps in like different colors, but someone might feel like they need that and they love that. And that is what Chanel does so, 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 so well. So I would love to know what you guys think of Chanel 21B. And I'm very curious to know what you think of my point of view of the way Chanel is branding these bags. Chanel would not get away with um, constantly increasing prices if they didn't inc like constantly release new products. So we have Chanel 21B, which is this one. It'll be, for those of you in the US, it should be in boutiques by the end of the month. Chanel 21K is coming, <laughs> okay? I am so excited about that. There's so many unicorns in that particular collection. Then after that, we're, um, uh, well, currently right now, there's Chanel Factory 5. I don't really care about this, I have to be honest. That's why I didn't cover it on my channel. I know a few of you were interested in this. Uh, I didn't really care, but whatever. It's out, it's selling, it's doing very well. Then I think after that, we should be due Chanel Coco Neige. That hasn't dropped yet. So that's like their winter sports collection, whatever. That is also due. So there's so much going on at the house and they constantly have new product out. So you can justify a price increase from a business point of view because you're constantly creating new products. I know that for some of you, it's disappointing, but I think the way you need to think about it is like this. These bags are just an, a, an exercise in extreme um branding if you're someone who loves the brand you're going to purchase these bags if you need a black luxury handbag you can get some really great options from saint laurent you don't need to spend all this money <laughs> to buy a classic flap but we all know what the classic flap means it's just such a it's such an iconic bag for so many people i me personally i don't really care about the classic flap i'm more into chanel's other bags but I just wanted to put that out there because I feel like with the price increases, things can get, kind of get a bit redundant on YouTube. We film these price increase videos. We talk about them. Everyone gets upset. And then the next collection comes out. Everyone's like, where am I buy that? Where am I buy this one? Where am I buy this one? So what I'm saying is this. It's okay for you to change your mind. It's okay for you to be upset about price increases, but still like the new items. I just think the smarter thing to do is to just put aside like maybe 10% if you're saving, if you're a baller, you're balling hard. A lot of you watch my channel, you're ballers, okay? A lot of you are ballers. If you're a baller, it's not an issue. You just go to the store today, you purchase the item. If you're putting money aside, I would just say put an extra 10% as a buffer just in case there's a price increase. There will be one. There will be one. We've just had this one and Chanel 21B should reflect the new prices, okay? And, um, which, if they, I mean, they should be doing one before January, just based on the way they do price increases. To me, it seems like every financial quarter, they're increasing their prices. So those are my Chanel opinions. I would love to know what you think. Just before I go, I want to talk to you guys about the Chanel, like, true believers, okay? Chanel is like, is like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B rolled into one, okay? Those of you who love Nicki Minaj, I love Nicki. Cardi's okay, but I love Nicki. Like, Nicki's fans, like, are completely diehard. We're dedicated. We love her. Chanel's fans are the same, and Chanel clients are the same. When I was researching the images for this video, I came across a post. I won't say the, the person's uh, handle on IG. And again, it was like what I said in my video about YouTubers being narcissists. And the person was like, hey guys, what do you think of Chanel 21B? And someone was like, it's whack. <laughs> okay. I wanted to scream so hard. And then the comment replies were like attacking the person for sharing her opinion. I didn't want to write anything. So I'm not trying to have people come and drag me as well. Okay. And get dragged. People can't handle different opinions about Chanel. Like Chanel has fierce, fierce loyal um, fans and customers particularly on Instagram. I think that you, on YouTube, we're way more critical about Chanel than people on Instagram. So there are people responding like, you're wrong. You don't understand. It's an autumn winter collection. It can't have like, you know, tons of really bright colors. I was like, whoa, can everyone relax? These are like 
5,000, 6,000 euro handbags that we're fighting over. What is going on? I need to know what you think of like the people who are like diehard Chanel people. Um, I'm not a diehard Chanel person. I'm not a diehard MS person. I'm a diehard Cartier person. But Cartier doesn't like require you to like stand and go hard, you know? But literally in that thread, like you asked a question, what do you think of Chanel 21B? Someone gave you their opinion and then that person gets attacked. I can't, you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. What do you think of this format, which is short and sweet? Do you like this format? Yes or no? Please make sure that you tell me. I can't wait until for you guys to see Saturday's video. I'm super, super excited about it. And also, I am still working on my video about Pierre Wertheimer, who was the financier for Gabriel Chanel's ventures. That is coming. It's probably going to be dropping next week. So please make sure you turn on notifications because I have so many great videos coming up. I can't wait for you guys to see Saturday's video. So please make sure that you stick around. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to support me. The YouTube algorithm has changed and it is really putting pressure on YouTube, um, YouTube channels. Give this video a like and support me and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.